Alright guys, so we're back out here today on Quattro Colinas. We're just going to quickly run through the regular Great One Zone, or Great One Grind Zone. I know we just did the stream of it last night, but I listened back through the stream and it didn't sound good. I mean, it looked good, it didn't sound good. It had a lot of echo to it, and I think I have found a problem. So hopefully this video will be the test of that. So let's get out here and see what we can find. So right out here we do have a level 4. I'm pretty sure there's another stag in there with him, but actually, I'm going to use this just in case. We'll aim a little high. I'm not doing exactly what we did, but I think we got the one we wanted. And that's exactly why I used that. 300 uh, AR a lot because of quick reloads. I mean, you can get done what you need to get done quick. That guy completely hit him, That'll be alright. He'll be there for the next time. Alright, just a little level 3, 87.3. Pretty much as he was about to take off. But yeah, not, not too bad. Double lung shot at 212 yards with the 300 AR. Something to get it started anyway. And then we'll run over here and get this guy. I also wanted to point out something from last night's stream that I think needs a little bit of attention put on it. Uh, there was a person in my chat, not mad at this person. I mean, this is a video game and people have their opinions, but I was told that I'm a modder as in i've used mods on this game i have not will not and will never use mods on this game it just it takes the fun away from it and i like my game working properly because sometimes you use those mods it can mess your game up so to answer to that i do not have a, a modded game i've never played this modded now there is a chance i could have been on modded servers actually there's a guarantee that i've been on modded servers because uh i do have three great ones i have the great one red deer or the great one white tailed deer the great one moose and the great one black bear those are legitimate great ones i do have nine others that are not legitimate and will openly admit that was on a modded server but did I put them in my lodge? Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't do that. And I know this person probably thought I was mad at him. I'm not mad at him. I mean, it's a video game, dude. I'm not going to be mad at you. Plus, you're an interesting else in the world. But I just wanted to make that abundantly clear that I do not mod this game in any way. Because I don't... I, just, I don't want to. It's just... I don't want to play the game like that. I, I enjoy the game, this this game, and I've been playing it since it came out. I've been level 60 for a pretty good while now, and I'd like to keep it that way and not have to restart all the way over because I modded a game and it just messed the game up. I'm not I'm not gonna do that. So, but either way, I do appreciate that guy stopping by and chit-chatting for a little bit i mean he, he seemed pretty cool and i don't know if he meant that in like a derogatory way or just kind of joking i just wanted to point it out and let people know i don't play this game modded so we got that guy the other one i'm not too sure about so we'll probably just let him go because I, I don't see him anywhere but i seen him when we were coming down the hill from the tent so we'll probably just let that guy ride and catch him the next time I think we're going to hop down here at this tent and kind of run up the river here. I do have a few zones up that way. All right, so we'll probably reset the time here real quick. I don't want to have to rush through zones, so I just would rather do this as I go along. I know that's probably not the right way to do it, but that's the way I do it. Now, I was watching a video last night right before i went to bed it was scarecrow on his red deer ground was it last night or was it this morning either way i was watching a video and he was doing a seven day 
red deer grown seven straight day red, uh, red deer grown and he got a red deer great one after six kills and I was just like yeah I, I wish I was that lucky but I mean we'll get it it is what it is you know th this game takes patience not the most patient of person but Ooh, there's a new zone Bad. I like that. I like that. I ain't gonna lie. Yesterday I was playing, and at the beginning of the live stream, I shot a southeastern Spanish ibex right here, and it almost made diamond. Like he was a big level four. Just kind of not really weird. I mean, I've already got the ibex grand slam in the lodge, so it wasn't like a needed diamond. But it would have been cool either way, especially to start the stream out with a with a diamond. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've killed a diamond on live stream before. So that'll be cool once we get to do that. But I'm hoping this this uh great one right here, he needs to pop up here at any time. Because I really want to get started on the, the fowler red or the fowler deer great one growing. I seen Winter, he posted a great one compilation the other day and it really got me wanting to get that Fowler Great one, but I don't want to stop this grind to start that one. So, we just want to focus on this one for now. And then, once we get this guy, we'll get started on the Fowler Great one grind. And I'm thoroughly excited to start that. And that grind will probably take place on either Te Awaroa or... I'm not going to do it on Hirschfelden, but it'll probably be Te Alaroa or uh, Emerald Coast. But 84.8 level 3 here at 297 yards. Just a little guy, but it is what it is. It's another one down. So we'll head up to this spot here and see what's up here I did I have had some pretty good luck up this way I killed two or three missiles while running up through here over this past week so maybe we'll have something nice standing up here so as we run up through here I want to shout give a shout out uh they'll probably not hear this but I'm gonna do it anyway I want to shout out the company Rode was that I was just able to get the Rodecaster Pro 2 if anybody that watches this or is audio video people and they like stuff like that, they know. It's a pretty uh, pretty nice piece of equipment. And I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with it. I'm actually in love with it. It's a gorgeous audio uh, mixer. And it's easy to set up. Easy, way easier than I thought it would. And I mean, it's it, the colors just contrast really good on it. Everything's easy to use. I mean, kind of beefy, but it's if you take this one and compare it to like the Mackie DLZ Creator or even the DLZ Creator XS by Mackie, I mean, yeah, it's bigger, but or it's bigger than the DLZ Creator XS for sure because that's a, a smaller version of the big DLZ creator but it doesn't take up as much desk as you would think I've actually got it on kind of a laptop stand I guess you could call it but I mean everything works great uh, by the time I got it here out of the box hooked up and started using it within 30 45 minutes so it was pretty pretty easy to use stand right there I think yeah when they do that because it's so tempting to shoot them but I'm not going to so we'll just get this guy I know I just did with this one standing here but I mean he ain't no mythical diamond or great one so I'm not really concerned about it and he actually he fell over too 
not too bad nice level six 104 yards light brown anyway we'll keep going that way we don't get trampled over here it's a it's a nice audio interface i was just talking to sorry i lost my train of thought i was just talking to a guy on instagram some people if like i said if you're in the audio and video and having a youtube channel and doing a podcast you've probably heard the name before tom buck um when i got the broadcaster pro 2 i sent it to him super stoked about it and he literally he responded first of all that blew my mind because a lot of those big name people don't really respond but he seemed like a pretty humble guy to begin with so and i follow him on youtube you know i'm actually i watch pretty much all of his videos and i've listened to his podcast the uh, enthusiasm project i listen to it all the time especially when i'm on the road but i sent him a picture of it and said you know was talking about it and he said welcome to the club hope you enjoy it because he has i mean he has the roadcaster pro the roadcaster pro 2 i mean he he reviews and does videos on these things all the time so he was actually my inspiration to get it so i have him to thank for that I mean, I love it, and I still have my Mac Creator DLG XS. Uh, I'm probably gonna get rid of it. Uh, I mean, if I can find somebody that needs one, I'll sell it. Uh, I'm not just gonna let let it go anywhere. But if you're looking for a a good audio mixer, I mean, it works great, perfect. I mean, I just had an opportunity to get the one I have been wanting. So I, I, I got it, and I definitely don't need three audio audio mixers now because I have the Roadcaster Pro 2, I have the Mackie DLD Creator XS, and I have the Focusrite Scarlet 4i4. Um, the, the Focusrite, it's, it's not going nowhere. I, I love that thing. It's so, so simple to use. I mean, it looks good sitting on your desk and your setup, but... Exactly, I will let that go to somebody who needs it. So, if you need one, comment down below and we'll get in contact. And yeah, I can make somebody the proud owner of a great Mackie product. And as you know, Mackie is now the well, they're a part of Road Road Boss them, I want to say a year ago or so it may it might have been less i don't remember exactly but they did buy uh hello where did you come from Actually, where did any of those come from i might need to put a tent over here if that red deer female would move so yeah anyway like i said road bought back and Sure did. <laughs> well, yeah. If you're interested in it, or if you need one, or know somebody that needs an audio mixer, let me know, and we'll make it happen. All right, so over here is this guy. And actually, while we're at it, and while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I don't know if might need one. Just a little level 5, 146.5. Nothing crazy big. We'll go pick these other two up. Head to a couple more spots. And hopefully we'll find something good standing out somewhere. It was weird though that these two were standing while that whole herd of red deer was standing here. Because when I spawn in right there, I can see some already. Maybe it's just because I'm not as far back as I need to be. I want to say it's like 200 yards, 250 yards. 
away from the zone and then they'll populate but we got it done though over there and this guy is nice 196.1 at 246 yards good looking round seven now where'd that other one go that was the luckiest shot i've ever hit So we hit intestines, liver, and right lung on the run at 240 or 256. Sorry. Not bad. I like that. That was pretty cool. What's going on over here? Anyway, we'll jump over here real quick. Check this zone. Or these couple of zones. I, I've got red deer off of this zone. Or off of this lake. I keep saying zone. But there was a zone, I want to say right here. I don't see it now. It may have just been one of those wooden deer kind of zones, and then it just goes away. But it looked like nothing too, too, too spectacular out there. Just one level seven. Where did you go, big guy? Is that you? Yep. I literally don't see any more. But jump over here and get that guy. I'm gonna start stream, uh, streaming. Streaming. I think I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch a little more as well. Um, I got on there the other day. It was actually pretty fun. And, you know. My priority for this isn't, you know, to become, like, YouTube famous or Twitch famous, but, I mean, I do want to be able to grow my, you know, my platform a little bit more. I figure streaming on Twitch, that would probably help out some, too. I know YouTube and Twitch kind of have a thing with each other. You can't really say the two names in the same sentence together, but, you know, it is what it is. We're all content creators. I mean... It shouldn't really matter. But that's not for me to decide. I mean, they're two competing companies. They're both multi like billion dollar corporations. So, but anyway, this is 182.5 at 361 yards, double long shot. Pretty, pretty small level, level seven, but level seven nonetheless. Let's find this one, one or two more spots. And then we'll probably wrap it up from here. Little five down there and a four. Probably go for the five first. That second shot off, but it ain't gonna matter anyway. Oh, yeah, it is. It might not be ethical, but we got it. I always forget to look down here. I know there's normally not any zones, but with this game and the way Red Deer moves around, you never know anymore, so. But I do have a couple more zones down on the far end. That we'll check out. I've never really seen anything big with them, but you know, I'm pretty far into this grind, so I'm gonna just start anything that's got antlers, I'm shooting it. So I need to get this guy on the ground as soon as possible. Because I want to add that other great one to my lodge. That way we only have one more to go after. Level six. That's the biggest red deer I've seen on that end of the lake in months. Literally months. So we'll definitely get him here in a minute. About 2.30. Yeah, we'll help us out anyway. Oh, he's done. Sweet. Got these two layers right beside each other. That could have worked out any better. We got this guy right here. He should be the level 5. Yeah. 
left one shot at 337 and this guy yeah we shot him three times this who the second or the third time was pretty nice 374 yard double on his heart shot i mean we whiffed the first two but third time's a charm not bad let's go pick this other red deer up and peek a gander down the rest of this side and maybe there'll be some more which it ain't looking like it it's actually going pretty fast so we may check out a couple more spots yeah i don't see a single red deer down there now so we'll go get this guy and go somewhere else Alright, here's our level 6. 173.6 at 225 yards. And I just ran into the water. That's okay. No big deal. <laughs> but anyway, let's head somewhere else. Maybe. Let's head up here. Let's see what we got. So before the video ends, I want to let you guys know what i'm using for this video i'm using the blue sona xlr microphone running into the rodecaster pro 2 on the shure sm7b preset and even though you cannot see my face right now i still have one don't worry um i have the logitech mx brio 4k 60 webcam and yes i'm playing this with a controller on a pc that's fine it'll be all right I just let you guys know kind of what you're hearing. Um, I've learned over the past few months that one of the most sought after microphones is the Shure SM7B because it is, because it is probably the best podcasting microphone and probably, I think, the best sounding microphone you can really buy. I mean, it's got a great sound to it. It looks good. This, oh, hello. There's a, there's a mythical hiding in the trees over there. We'll take him with the M1. Where are you going? actually a microphone i've been looking at trying to get it it'll be a while before i can get it because it's off the wall expensive but i want the sennheiser mkh 416 either that one or i want the rode ntg4 because i want to try out the uh shotgun microphones well some people call them shotgun microphones some people call them uh pencil condenser microphones but yeah i just I think it'd be pretty cool try that out and plus you know if i'm doing a stream or if i I'm, if i'm doing a video where like this one and i don't want the microphone in the the, the shoot or yeah if i don't want it in the picture i can just have it mounted up top and like up above my monitor and it just takes a little bit of audio tweaking to get that sound and then i won't have a microphone in view but yeah i mean just a couple things i'm wanting to try to do i mean it ain't gonna be no time soon but i also i'm wanting to get in, i'm wanting to move away from a webcam to a mirrorless camera but we all know how much those are but i will say here um on post they uh, at the post exchange, they have a camera set up. It's a Canon like kit. It's it's the uh, camera body with two lenses and a bag. Uh, it's a 
it's a pretty nice camera. I mean, it's a DSLR camera. You know, I can record videos on it, take pictures on it. So it's something I may think about, but the camera I want is the uh, Sony FX3, but I don't make Sony FX3 money. Let's just put it plain and simple. That's a $3,800 camera. But here's this wonky little level eight here, 216.05 at 244 yards. Almost just a little bit more left and we would have had double lung heart, but he went down either way. But yeah, some, some of those cameras, they're too weak for my blood. I can't, I can't do all that. Well, we'll pick this guy up over here and I'm gonna go check one more spot and we're gonna call it a video. Yeah, I see you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Don't worry about your business. I'm not trying to delete zones. Are you just gonna stand there? Okay, I was about to say, if you're gonna stand there, we might have a problem. Alright, we'll go. Let's see. We'll go to two more spots. That little. No. Yeah, I thought that was. I thought it was him. I thought it was not a. Great one. I definitely thought it was a diamond though at first. That was a lot of antler. But we'll get him. We'll see what's down on the far end of that lake. And then probably wrap it up because I don't want to stay here too long, create either too much pressure or start deleting zones. That's a level seven too. I wish I'd come down out of those hills. He was up to 245. I'm surprised he's not a mythical. Or, uh, a, a, yeah, a mythical. see anything down in that zone. Okay, let's go get these two and check out one more spot. Right, here's our big level seven. But I'm still surprised this isn't a mythical, but 205, I can, yeah, I can kind of see why he wasn't, but he's still a pretty nice looking level seven. At 265, we double lunged him. All right, right, let's go get this other one real quick. And then move on. A much better shot. Landed horribly to get a picture if we wanted to, but double lunged him on the move at 305. 195.5 for that guy. I love that light brown fur type. That's probably the best looking one. That's aside from, you know, like rares or the fabled fur types, but I like that. Let's go. Let's go right down here. See what we got. Actually, probably one of my favorite spots. I used to have red deer. Let me see. You're probably be able to see it better down here, but I'm gonna have to hurry because we got about 45 in-game minutes till this zone ends. But we'll get over here and find them. I'm sure there's a, a couple. Or at least one or two in this herd. We can't see them yet. They're going to be about right here. But I used to have red deer a lot down here on this end. Now we've come from that outpost, but I don't get them over there anymore. Yeah, they're still in this zone right now. I see their little 
Paul Trail. Those are, those are wolf tracks, but we don't have red deer here. Usually I have to go down to this point. Cut back and look, and they'll be standing there. So we'll do that real quick. That's another thing I want to talk about with this map. I haven't been attacked by wolves on this map lately. I don't know what's going on with that? Probably because I'm just bouncing around from zone to zone. But yeah, maybe one day. Seven first. I don't know how to shoot. That's what I need to do. We'll be there next time. So we're gonna pick this guy up, and as we run over here to get him, I just want to thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for coming and tuning in to the live streams. You know, it's, it's just a fun place. I love doing this. You know, you can come into the chat. You can, you know, talk about whatever. Just say whatever. It's not going to bother me because at the end of the day, it's just for fun. You know, I'm not trying to be the best. I mean, I'm trying to be the best, but I ain't trying to, you know, let it go to my head or anything like that. This is just a fun hobby to do. I enjoy doing it. So that's why I do it, you know. Guy here, just this pretty nice level seven 192.2 at 208 yards with double lung shot. It's a little uneven, but he's definitely not a 50 50 rack. So, but he still looks good. I like that light brown again, of course. But on that note, guys, I just want to thank you for everything. Um, next Wednesday, we'll be doing our live stream again, same, same place, same time. We'll start out with the Red Deer Great and Grown, unless I come up with another idea. We we'll even we might even head back to Hirschfelden for part two of unlocking that map, seeing what else is out there. But that's going to wrap it up for today. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.